What up, YouTube? This is Supercharged iOS, and this is a showdown between the Ouya and the G-Box Midnight MX2. Now, both of these devices retail for $99, and depending on what you're looking for, they're both really, really good. So it's just going to be all about what you're looking for and what you expect from a device. Now we're going to run a test using Antutu Benchmark. So first thing I'm going to do is hit test and I'll see you right after it's done. Alright, so the test is complete on the Ouya and you, as you can see the Samsung Galaxy Note is the best performer out of all the devices followed by the Galaxy S4. I'll scroll down a few more. You can see there's a few more Xperia Z. And there's my device, the Ouya 16889, which is a fairly decent score. All right, there's the details of the Ouya's test. 16889 was the total score. And I'll scroll down and show you some of the other stuff that was tested. The RAM, the CPU, the 2D and 3D graphics, which are both in 1080p. And something else important to note, the Ouya does in fact push XBMC in 1080p. The G-Box Midnight MX2 is, does not push the XBMC in 1080p. So if you're looking for full HD, you might want to stick with the Ouya for XBMC. And here's a little more basic information about the device, the Ouya 4.1.2 operating system, Android. And I'll scroll down, show you a little more resolution 1920 by 1080, which is full HD, and some of the other information for the device. There's the memory and the RAM, as well as the internal and external memory. So it's just a little extra information. We're going to move on. Now, I wasn't able to test the Wi-Fi of the Ouya because the application did not work. And that's going to be another disadvantage that you're going to have with the Ouya is once it's rooted and you have access to the Google Play Store, only certain applications are going to work when, in fact, on the G-Box Midnight MX2, every application just about in the entire Play Store will, in fact, work. But one thing that you won't be able to figure out how to get working on the G-Box that you will be able to get done on the Ouya is this application right here, external to internal, which allows you to use an external USB flash drive as internal storage. And I was not able to get that to work on the G-Box Midnight MX2 because of the fact that the G-Box Midnight MX2 has an emulated uh, internal storage. So whenever it's emulated, it's not going to work. It doesn't allow you to flip it like this. And if you guys are interested in using your external USB flash drive as internal storage on the Ouya, I'll put a link in the description. You can go ahead and check that out. All right, the next part of the test on the Ouya is going to be XBMC performance. The first thing I'm going to do is go over the system, system info. And we'll go ahead and have a look right here. It'll show you the free memory and how much CPU is used and everything like that. Go ahead and get a, get a look at all this stuff. Go down to hardware. You can see that the ARM processor and things like that are going to help out the performance on the Ouya as well. Okay, so let's go back and I'll go to video to YouTube. Go ahead and load up some of my videos. And I'll go ahead and try to find one. Let's see, let's try this one. And we'll try it in 720p. And you see it starts really fast. Now I just have the volume turned down so that, like I said, the sound, I don't want it to interfere with this video. Let's go ahead and fast forward some. As you can see, I'm using the Ouya having no remote, having no problem fast forwarding. If you fast forward for a couple minutes of course you have to wait for maybe one or two seconds for buffering but as you can see I can see way through the video very easily I'm already halfway and the buffering is very momentary the video is indeed playing so as you can see XBMC 
does perform excellently on the Ouya. And that pretty much concludes the round of testing that we're going to do on the Ouya. So I'll go ahead and shut this down and we'll get ready to get started on the G-Box Midnight MX2. All right, here we are with the G-Box Midnight MX2. And I just wanted to go ahead and stay true to the way it comes right out of the box. So I went ahead and left it the way it is. I didn't change the launcher or anything like that. So I wanted you to see it just the way you'll see it when you first get it. And XBMC is already pre-installed. That's one advantage, again, that you're going to have with the G-Box that you're not going to have with the Ouya. Whereas, you know, you're going to have to go online to the Ouya Discovery Store and download XBMC manually on the Ouya. XBMC comes ready to go pre-configured, pre-installed. It has repos installed in it and everything. All you have to do is then just go ahead and launch it and configure it yourself. But we're going to put that aside and we're going to get our round of testing started. So we'll go into our local apps where I have it set. Go into this and to two benchmark. Let's go ahead and click test. Go ahead and get started. All right, our test is complete. And you can see just as we did on the Ouya, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 scores in just below 35,000. It's the top Android device at this time. So we'll scroll down a little bit. I'll show you the Xperia is about 22,000. So we'll go ahead and scroll down a little more. And you see my device is the G-Box Midnight MX2 and it scores in at 11,518. So slightly lower than the 16,000 plus that the Ouya scored. But that has a lot to do with the fact that the Ouya has quad core, has four cores running, whereas the G-Box Midnight MX2 only has two cores running. All right, so here's some of the details of the test for the G-Box Midnight MX2. There we go, the score is 11,518. Like we said, it's slightly lower than the Ouya. The RAM was tested, CPU, scroll down a little bit. And here's the 2D and 3D graphics. And like I showed you on the Ouya, it tests at 1080p, whereas the G-Box tests at 720p. So again, if you're interested in 1080p and nothing else, you might want to go with the Ouya or another 1080p device because the G-Box, most of what it does is in fact in 720p. So now let's go ahead and check out XBMC, which I know a lot of you are using these devices just for XBMC. As you can see, you get an awesome little remote that comes with the G-Box and it's great for XBMC. Matricom does in fact make an even better remote than this one, but this one comes standard free. The other remote you have to pay an additional, I think, 15 bucks, and they send it to you. It has a keyboard right on the back of it, so it's very, very useful for XBMC. It also has an air mouse built into it. So, but this this will definitely do the job when you get it right out the box. It does have a cursor button right here, so you'll be able to go ahead and put the mouse cursor on your screen and use it whenever you need to, just until you get that other keyboard or mouse. But I definitely recommend that you use a keyboard or like a keyboard mouse combo, something like this one, which is made by Logitech. It's a K400 and it's wireless. It uses 2.4 gigahertz frequency and it works excellent with XBMC and really with all other devices, including the Ouya and rock chip it's great for all android mini pcs and boxes now the first thing you're going to need to do whenever you launch your xbmc for the first time on your gbox midnight mx2 is you're going to need to scroll over to system settings add-ons jump down to to get add-ons and you'll see right here there's a bunch of different repos that are pre-installed so you don't have to waste a lot of time installing repos. I'll go ahead. Here's the xbmc.org add-ons repository. I'll just go into that one. Scroll down to video add-ons. And XBMC works very smooth. 
on the G-Box Midnight MX2, despite the dual core processor up against the Uyaz quad core, there's not really that much difference. Again, you're going to have a lot of advantages if you go either way. When you want to install an add-on, you just click on it, you click install, and you wait a few seconds. Both devices have their advantages. The Ouya does have a little speed advantage, given it has the quad-core processor. But there are a lot of advantages with the G-Box as well. And once you get that common cache plug-in and simple downloader downloaded for your add-ons, It'll be a lot easier to install them. They'll install much quicker once you get that first one installed. All right, so let's go back a few steps. Go to our video add-on section. Now that we've got YouTube and Vito installed, go ahead and switch our view to thumbnail so it looks a lot cooler. There you go. We're going to YouTube for the first time. And you can set up your information right there if you wish. I'm just going to skip that part for now. Go ahead and search for some of my videos, Supercharged iOS. And we'll go ahead and start the same one we just started. If I can find it, yep, there it is. And we'll go ahead and choose 720p, which is the highest quality available. And this is a different video, but it doesn't really matter. It's, the point is, I just wanted to let it go for a few seconds, and now we'll fast forward. As you can see, I'm going to fast forward well into it, no problem. We're at three minutes already. So as you can see, it really does work very well, considering the quad-core processor. It's not really a big difference, considering XBMC. It's mostly 720p content anyway. And now we'll go to system, system info on the G-Box Midnight MX2, just like we did on the Ouya. And you can see screen resolution is 720p. And it's about 50 frames per second, give or take. And scroll down right here. You see it's Mali 400 graphics processor unit in the video. And we'll scroll down to hardware right here. And you can see ARM processor. So I mean, it's, it's about what and what, given this is 720p and the OUYA is 1080p. So if you're if you're locked in on 1080p, you might want to just go ahead and go with the OUYA if you're just thinking about running XBMC and that's all. All right, that's going to conclude the testing for both devices. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst and 10 being the absolute best, I'd have to give the OUYA an 8. And I'd have to give the G-Box Midnight MX2 an 8 as well because of the fact that both of the devices have their ups and downs. You get remotes with both devices where with some remote with some devices you don't even get any remote at all. So that's a plus for both. Uh, the Ouya does perform a little better with XBMC than the G-Box Midnight MX2. So if you're looking for only XBMC and you don't really care, about the fact that you're not going to be able to access most of the apps in the Google Play Store, then you might want to just go ahead and go with the Ouya 1080p quad core. You know, it really is a great device for XBMC alone. But if you're looking for, you know, you don't mind 720p and you don't mind, and you also want to use uh, the Google Play Store and use plenty more applications than you'll be able to use on the Ouya, you want all that to come standard. You don't want to mess around with adding repos and configuring and all that and rooting your device in order to use Google Play. You just want to go ahead and grab the G-Box Midnight MX2 for 99 bucks. They're both the same price. Ouya is 99 bucks as well. A couple more things you might want to consider when comparing these two devices is that the Ouya only has one USB port and no SD card or micro SD card slot. Now the G-Box on the other hand has four USB ports and a regular standard SD card slot. So you can do plenty more with it, like you know, you can have your your wireless keyboard and mouse combo hooked up at the same time your USB flash drive is. On the other hand, with the Ouya, you're gonna need some type of USB hub to make that happen. And whichever way you go, both of these devices are better than Apple TV 2 and 3, so you can't lose. All right, so tell me what you think in the comment section below. Which one of these devices is your favorite?
or do you have a device that you think is better than both? Let me know. This is Supercharged iOS. This was a comparison video between the Ouya and the G-Box Midnight MX2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was pretty helpful. Please like my page at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS and also follow me at twitter.com forward slash charged iOS. And also don't forget to click the subscribe as well as the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.